Okay, in this video I'm going to look at the mean and the standard deviation of the normal distribution. Now I have my writing tablet back, so I'm going to go back to writing um, when I do this calculation. And then once you, I, it looks like most of the students have watched several of the videos that were made in Maple, I'm going to ask you all what you prefer. If you prefer that I make the videos in Maple with a white background or right here with a black background or maybe just white with a right, white background. And then um, I'll use your preferences to make the videos on statistics, which are going to be viewed in the second part of the course. Okay, but for now, we want the mean and standard deviation of the normal distribution. Now, I've defined the normal distribution by its PDF, that a random variable, capital X, is normally distributed if its PDF is 1 over the square root of 2 pi, that's an ugly pi there, times sigma, uh, times e to the negative x minus mu squared over 2 sigma squared. And you might think we really don't need to do this video because, hey, the mean, that's mu. I know what it is. It's mu. It's whatever number shows up right there. And the standard deviation, that's whatever number shows up for sigma. Well, you're right. And our notation, of course, is chosen because of that. But just because I put a number right here, there's nothing obvious that makes that the mean. Okay, And just because I put a number here, there's nothing obvious that just makes that the standard deviation. What I want to show you is that whatever parameter does show up in those places in the PDF is indeed uh, the mean if it's in the mu spot and the standard deviation if it's in the two sigma spots here. So first we'll do the mean. So the expectation of the random variable x, it's continuous, so we integrate over all real numbers of x times the PDF. So we have x times 1 over square root 2 pi times sigma times e to the negative x minus mu squared over 2 sigma squared. So I'll make that look a little more like a 2 uh, times dx. Now this integral, it turns out, is a lot of work. It would take me a good 20 minutes to do this calculation by hand. Um, but instead, we are fortunate enough to have Wolfram Alpha. And I want to integrate, let's see, that was x divided by the square root of 2 pi uh, sigma, I'm going to represent with s, times e to the power of negative x minus mu, I'm going to represent by m, squared divided by 2 sigma squared, so that's s squared. And I want to integrate that from x equals negative infinity to infinity. Let's press enter here and let Wolfram Alpha go to work for us. Okay, and the computation timed out. So see, I told you this is a difficult integral. So let's see if we can try again with more time, if Wolfram Alpha will uh, be able to do the computation for us. Notice that it uses Mathematica. And I guess while we're waiting, you can observe this nice advertisement over here for the iPod. And I encourage you to go out and buy things in our consumer-driven culture because um, it helps the economy. So eventually we'll help my paycheck become bigger. Um, but once you get back from buying things, hopefully Wolfram Alpha will be done here. Okay, now this is interesting here. Wolfram Alpha, um, it thinks that it, it can't do it. But if you look at this, we have m over the square root of 1 over s squared times s. Okay, m over the square root of 1 over s squared times s. That's so long as the real part of the standard deviation squared is greater than 0. We don't have to worry about that because our standard deviation is a real number. Let's put that back in here. And I want to show you that that's just mu. So remember that mu was m replaced by m and standard deviation was replaced by s. So we ended up with mu over the square root of 1 over sigma squared times sigma. Well, since sigma is a positive number, this is mu over 1 over sigma times sigma. And the denominator is just 1 so long as sigma is positive. And I guess that actually Wolfram Alpha makes a lot of sense here. If sigma is 0, then this normal distribution doesn't make very much sense. Okay, if sigma is 0, then we shouldn't say that the mean is mu because there is no mean. The distribution is not well defined. You're trying to divide by 0 here. But so long as sigma is positive, we see that indeed the expectation is, as we would expect, the mu that shows up in our formula. 
Okay, so now we're going to compute the variance, and to do that I want to um, erase all this here, and I'm still getting the hang of my new pen pad. Sorry that it's taken me three steps to erase all this. And now we're going to do the variance. So the variance of the expect of the random variable x, I'm not using sigma squared because I already have a sigma here, and I want to show that that's equal to the standard deviation and show that sigma squared is the variance. So I don't want to say it. I don't want to say sigma squared here. Um, that is the expectation of x minus the mean, which we now know is mu squared. Okay, so we're going to integrate from negative infinity to infinity of x minus mu squared times the PDF. So we'll have 1 over the square root of 2 pi sigma times e to the negative x minus mu squared divided by 2 sigma squared dx. Okay, and we'll pull off Wolfram Alpha here to do this integral for us. And we are going to integrate um, x minus m squared uh, divided by the square root of 2 pi sigma, I'm going to denote that by s, times e to the power of negative x minus mu squared divided by 2 sigma squared. And we're going to integrate that from x equals negative infinity to infinity. Okay, again, it turns out this is a harder computation <laughs> than the first one was, and um, it's going to take a lot of time for Wolfram Alpha to be able to do it. It takes a lot of time to do this computation by hand. And let's see what we end up with. It turns out the expectation is a sub uh, subcalculation of this one. And we end up with this guy. Boy, it likes to write things in a complicated manner. Uh, 1 over 1 over s squared to the power of 3 halves times s. So let's go back to Microsoft Paint. And we have 1 over 1 over, let's see, that was s squared. So we're going to have sigma squared to the power of 3 halves times sigma. Okay, well, that means I have 1 over if I square this and then raise it to the power of 3 halves, and that means it's cubed. So I have 1 over sigma cubed times sigma. That is 1 over 1 over sigma squared, which sure enough is just sigma squared. So the variance of our normal distribution ends up being sigma squared. And then the standard deviation is the square root of the variance, so square root of sigma squared, and so long as sigma is positive, which it better be if you're wanting to say that that's the standard deviation, then it's sigma. Okay, so in this video we showed that uh, by defining the normal distribution with this PDF and letting mu be a mean, that can be any real number, and sigma be a positive number, it has to be positive because you want that to be the standard deviation, then we do indeed have that the mean is mu and that the standard deviation is sigma from this PDF.